All right, start off by making a new blueprint interface for interact interface. Open that up and name this interact. Compile, save, and close that. Now we're gonna make a new blueprint structure. This is gonna be your key cards. Open that up. I'm gonna have a white key card. Then I'm gonna add another variable. And I'm gonna have a yellow key card. You can add more if you want. I'm just going to stick with two. Save that and close that. Go into your character blueprint and add a variable for your key cards. And then change the variable type here and search for your key cards. Compile and save that. Close that. Now go back here. Make a new blueprint class actor. This is going to be your key card door. Add new static mesh for your door. I'm going to add one for my frame as well. And then with your keycard door selected, add a box collision. Change the position and the size. Then we're going to go into the class settings and add your interact interface. Compile and save that and go into the graph. Delete these and go to the begin play and get your player character. Cast to your BP third person character. Plug that in. Right click and promote this to a variable. Then you can go down here and double click your interact to get the event. Hold B and click to get a branch and then get your character. Drag from here and get your key cards. And from your key cards, you want to break key cards. And I'm going to plug the white key card in. And from the true, we're going to get a flip flop. Create a timeline. Plug that in to play and reverse. I'm going to change the length to one. And I'm going to add a float track. Right click and add a key. Change it to 0 and 0. Add another key and for 1 and 1. Close that. Then you want to get your door. Set relative rotation. Right click and split the structure pin and plug this into update. Right click and get a lerp. Plug this into the alpha. Then have A as 0 and minus 100 as B. Plug it into the Z. Compile and save that. Close that. Now we'll make a new blueprint class actor for the key card. I'm just going to add a cube for my key card because I don't have any meshes for this. I'm just going to change the size of this here. Make it look like a little key card. And then with the key card selected, you can add a box collision. You can change the size of this. Then go into the class settings and add the interact interface. Compile save, go into the event graph, get rid of these and go to the begin play and get your player character. Cast to your third person character, plug this in, right click and promote to a variable, double click the interact to get the event and get your character, go from here and get your key cards, and then drag from here and you want to get the uh, set members in key cards, and on the right side here you can enable the pins, so I'm going to enable the white key card, and plug this in. And then set it to true. Drag from here and destroy actor. Compile and save that. Close that. And go into your inputs. 
actions and add new input action for interact. Open that up and add new trigger for pressed. Save and close that. And then go back into your default and add new mapping for your interact. And set whatever key you want. Save that and close that. Then go into your character. You want to search for that action for interact. And then you want to get overlapping actors. Select actors. Drag from here and do for each loop with break. Plug this into triggered. Drag from here and do, does object implement interface. Select your interact interface. Hold B and click to get a branch and plug this into the loop. From the tr true, drag and get the interact message. And then plug this back into the break and you can double click to get these little nodes if you want to make it look nicer. Compile, save that. I forgot to plug the target in. So I'm just going to plug this in. And then I'm going to add another node here. Save that and close that. And then go back to your doors and your key cards. Right click and duplicate your key card. Open it up. I'm going to change the color of my key card here to be yellow. And then go into the event graph. Go over here and turn that to false and then uncheck the pin and turn the other one on and true. And then duplicate your door as well. Go in here and plug the yellow key card into your condition or whichever key card you want. I'm going to change the color of my door here as well. Compile, save that. Then go into your world and drag your doors in. And then drag your key cards in. Save it. And then test it out. And right now I can't open any of these doors because I don't have any key cards. Pick up the yellow one, and I can open and close the yellow door. I still can't open the white one. Pick up the white key card, and I can open and close this one. Thanks for watching.